Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2024. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we will be covering Psalms 132 through 134 and 1 Corinthians 11, 17 through 34. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your Word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. A prayer for the Lord's blessings upon the sanctuary. A song of ancients. Psalm 132. Remember, Lord, in David's behalf, all his affliction, how he swore to the Lord and vowed to the mighty one of Jacob, I certainly will not enter my house, nor lie, my, my, lie on my bed, I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob. Behold, we heard about it in Ephrath, and we found it in the field of Jar. Let us go into his dwelling place. Let us worship at his footstool. Arise, Lord, to your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. May your priests be clothed with righteousness, and may your godly ones sing for joy. For the sake of your servant David, do not turn away with the face of your anointed. The Lord has sworn to David a truth from which he will not turn back. I will set up on your throne one from the fruit of your body, if your sons will keep my covenant and my testimony, which I will teach them, their sons also will set upon your throne forever. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it as his dwelling place. This is my resting place forever. Here I will dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless their his, her foods, and I will sink, uh, satisfy her needy with bread. I will also clothe her priests with salvation, and her godly ones will sing aloud for joy. I will make the horn of David spring forth there, and I have prepared a lamp for my anointed. I will clothe my his enemies with shame, but upon himself his crown will gleam. The Excellency of Brotherly Unity A Song of Ancients of David Psalm 133 Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to live together in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head running down upon the beard as on Aaron's beard, the oil which ran down upon the edges of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon coming down upon the mountains of Zion, for the Lord commanded the blessings there life forever. Greetings of Night Watchers, a song of accents. Psalm 134 Behold, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who serve by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the sanctuary and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made heaven and earth. Now we will be turning to, oh, that was uh, Psalms 132 through 134, and now we will be turning to 1 Corinthians 11, 17. First Corinthians 11, 17. Now in giving this next instruction, I do not praise you because you come together, not for the better, but for the worse. For in the first place, when you come together at the, a, as a church, I hear that division exists among you. And in part, I believe it, for there also have 
to be factions among you, so that those who are approved may become evident among you. And therefore, when you come together, it is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For when you eat, each one takes his own supper first, and one goes hungry while another gets drunk. What do you not have houses in which to eat and drink? Or do you despise the church of God and shame those who have nothing? What am I to say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I do not praise you. The Lord's Supper. For I receive from the Lord that which I also deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, and do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat in this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy way shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a person must examine himself, and in so doing he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For the one who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself, if he does not properly recognize the body. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick, and a number are asleep. But if we judge ourselves rightly, we would not be judged. But when we judged, when we are judged, we are disciplined by the Lord, so it will not be condemned along with the world. So then, my brothers and sisters, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. If anyone is hungry, have him eat at home, so that you do not come together for judgment as to re the remaining matters. I will give instructions when I come. And that was 1 Corinthians 11, 17 through 30, I'm sorry, yeah, 17 through 34, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Psalms 134 through 136 and 1 Corinthians 12. Father, I just thank you for your word, because without your word I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for your daily reading of the Bible and as always you know God loves you and so do I so come back and see us again tomorrow because God willing we'll be here and we hope that you are too please like and share